comes as the mayor calls for the firing of a Chicago police officer caught making an obscene gesture to a group of protesters. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov live outside Chicago Police Headquarters. Dana, this is already an internal investigation. Yeah, Brad and Erica, it's being handled by the Bureau of Internal Affairs because it's not considered the use of excessive force or verbal abuse, which would be handled by another agency, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. Either way, the mayor wants action quickly. There's no mistaking the gesture. This Chicago police officer made it clear to protesters near Lincoln Park High School Thursday as he was leaving the scene. And in my view, that person needs to be immediately stripped of their police powers and they should start the process for firing him. The mayor says ultimately it will be Superintendent David Brown's decision, adding they're actively trying to identify the officer in the photo. They forfeited their right to be Chicago police officers. In a statement today, a department spokesperson says CPD strives to treat all individuals our officers encounter with dignity and respect. We do not tolerate misconduct of any kind and have opened an investigation into this incident. The incident is one of many involving police raising red flags over the past weeks, stemming from both peaceful and tense protests over the death of George Floyd and mass looting throughout the city. The mayor is quick to point out most Chicago police officers conducted themselves properly in often volatile situations. And she says looters won't be let off the hook. We've arrested a number of people and we are working cooperatively with the state's attorney to build cases against the people that we've arrested. They have to be held accountable, period. And video, video shows that the officer may have been reacting to that gesture given to him by a woman outside of that van. It is not known how long that investigation or any current investigation into police misconduct uh, over the last week will take place. I'm live near a barricaded Chicago police headquarters at 35th and State. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.